just, we're ready to sand this. We're going to sand this down and we're going to make it a level five. So the first thing I want to do is put my mask on. Um, so let's put the mask on. I want to dust off the angles first. I'll dust down the angles. And I'll clear the bad spots you know, that are tight. I just had to touch that up. I'll dust down all the rest of the screws. I'm just dusting everything down lightly. I'm not grinding anything. Just trying to get rid of the edges. Just the edges. Now, yes, I can go ahead and grab mud and knives and skim this entire wall out, right? But if I have to do level five on all of this drywall, that's gonna take me forever, forever. So this is how I was taught, guys. If you don't have dirty mud, which is not, this is pretty clean mud, make it dirty. Drop your pan on the floor like that, make a mess, no, make it dirty. I've got, oh, maybe one, two, three knives full. Three knives full, right? Going into this water here. And it's, it's relatively thin mud. I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to make it dirty water. That's all I'm going to do. Just get this water dirty. And a mess on the floor again. So. So you want to come take a look at this mud, where there's water I mean, This is just water. It was nice and clean. Now it's not. It's a little dirty. And then, I take a paint roller. And if you look very closely, I put a piece of wire on here so this doesn't spin. You can't spin this. That's all I did. And now I'm just going to wet it. There's no mud on here, it's really it's just dirty water, and I'm going to mop, mop the walls down between, I don't have to go over, I don't have to go over the mud, you know, the, the nails or the screws, but I do have to hit all of the drywall that's dry. I do have to get in between all of this stuff, because if I don't, if I don't get in between all of this stuff, 
it's, it's going to show. So I have to make sure that I have everything wet and everything done in between here. And what I'm doing is I'm putting a, a thin film of drywall mud right on top of that drywall. That's what I'm doing. And, and it's going to give it the same texture from wall to wall, floor to ceiling. And that's all I'm trying to do is just put a nice thin layer of this water, which is dirty water now, on top of all of that. So, all right. Now I'll do this low stuff. Like I said, I don't have to hit the mud, mudded areas. I just have to hit the drywall. But I have to hit all of it. All of the drywall. And I wish I didn't have this handle on here right now. This is a little awkward. Um, I was taught this in Phoenix, Arizona when we did the Good Samaritan Hospital. Did the Good Samaritan Hospital in Phoenix, Arizona. And uh, all the walls had to be a high gloss enamel or a high gloss epoxy. And we had to sit there and mop all the walls down. They wanted the walls scrubbable. Absolutely scrubbable. You know, because it is a hospital and they wanted to be able to clean it and make it very, very clean. So this is what we used to have to do after we did our finishing. We'd have to go through and mop all the walls down. So there we have it. And I've also, guys, this is what, what else I've done. Is I did a job, I did a job in, oh, it was a commercial job up here, up north. And when I went to go sand it, it was, everybody moved in over the weekend. There were desks and computers and people everywhere, everywhere. And I couldn't just come in. They didn't have vacuum cleaner sanders back then. They didn't exist yet. And I had to sand this entire job around all of these people on their computers sitting at their desks. And I'm thinking, I can't do that. So I went and did this. And I sat there, and I'll, and I'll show you what I did, like on a wall like this. But believe it or not, plus three is not good for this because it takes more to break down plus three than the old bag mud. The old bag mud broke down with water really easy. Plus three does not. So, but what I would done, what I did is I came in and I basically sanded all of my edges with, with this is what I did. And I, and I just used this as a sand pole. The painter said, that's not going to work. That's not going to work until he painted it. And then everybody was like, oh, look at this. I mean, they didn't even have to back roll. It was just so nice. So nice. I'm going to throw a couple of fans on this. I'm going to let it dry. And then I'm going to give you a very good close-up of what this looks like. All right? So, you guys, see you in a minute. All right, I, I got to apologize, guys, because my camera is not a very great camera. I'm not as rich as these other two YouTubers who have 100,000 subscribers. So subscribe, subscribe, so I can get a new camera, guys, or be a Patreon member. I need a new camera. But I, you can't see it. I was just trying to look at it through there, on through the, through the camera. But I can sure feel it. I can sure feel the mud on this. And over here, if you look at this closely, you, I know you can see that. This, you, this has got to show up, this paper rough, mm -hmm. right here. It does. So if, if this paper rough is showing up, I do not have that anywhere on this wall. This entire wall has is, is got a film of mud over the entire surface of this wall now. And it, you can come in here, and I can just come in here with a sprayer, and I can spray this, this baby out. I can just spray this entire wall out and walk away. Um, there might be some flashing and coloring. I would still probably try to back roll it, but uh, but everything else is ready to sand. I'm sorry, it's, it's all sanded. It's all detailed. This is all ready to paint. This is all ready to paint. I I can standing back here. You, it doesn't show up on the on the camera, but I can see the difference where I kind of uh, sanded this wall with the with the roller and you can definitely see that there is mud here a thin layer of mud here and nothing here 
Um, so it, it does work. Uh, like I said, I did the Good Samaritan Hospital. So let me give you a run through real quick. Uh, we took the big blades out of here. Right behind you. Oh, right behind you. So let me give you a run through real quick. I pre-filled it and then I taped it. And then I ran my 10 box and I, and I feathered it out and I coated it in and got my first coat on it. Then I ran my 12 box and I let that dry. Then I went through and made sure that the wall was nice and flat. Nice and flat with my big knives. I checked it up and down, sideways, and, and vertical. I mean, I just checked, made sure it was flat. And I added a whole bunch of mud, or I added some mud where it needed to be added to make this wall flat. Then I sanded it down, detailed it, and mopped it with, with my roller, mopped it with my roller with dirty water. Okay, and uh, it's ready for semi-gloss. It's ready for high-gloss. It's ready for whatever you want to put on here, guys. Whatever you want to put on here, put it on here. Yes. Have a great day. Hey, if you really like the videos, subscribe. And if you really, really like the videos, please just share them with somebody else. All right, you guys, have a great day.